Hi guys, my name is Samir Islam, and I'll be talking to you about obesity. Now, the good thing about this topic is that there are not a lot of test questions that are concerning strictly obesity. Mainly, it'll be related to other conditions that have obese patients in it. But the unfortunate thing is that obesity overall is becoming a major health problem within the United States and within the world. And I think just overall, in terms of being a good, good healthcare provider, it's important to know what options you have for your patients with obesity and what some of the long-term complications are. In terms of our outline, we'll be talking about the background of what, how bad obesity is. Then we'll talk about the surgical treatments for obesity. And lastly, we'll be talking about the endoscopic treatments, which, so, which are some of the new modalities to help treat our obese patients. <clears throat> now, overall, obesity is a significant health problem within the United States and also within the world. More and more people are being diagnosed as being obese, which in turn leads to longer and more serious health problems, including things such as obstructive sleep apnea, diabetes, hypertension, cardiac hypertrophy, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In fact, within the next couple of years, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NASH, will be the most likely cause for cirrhosis and in turn will eventually be the most likely cause for liver cancer as well. But even more significant than that, there have been 13 different cancers that have been associated with obesity, including things like esophageal adenocarcinoma, colorectal cancer, breast cancer, uterine cancer, kidney cancer, stomach cancer, liver, gallbladder, and pancreatic cancer, thyroid cancer, ovarian, brain, and multiple, multiple myeloma. 13 different cancers so far have been associated with obesity, and so not only is this a significant health problem, but you can actually affect the lives of your patients by treating this epidemic. The way we evaluate obesity is with a standard called the BMI, which is classified as the Body Mass Index. This is an imperfect attempt to quantify the amount of tissue mass that's there. And with this categorization, we can help to stratify patients as being either severely underweight, underweight, normal or healthy weight, overweight, and then the three different types of obesity. And this is where the focus of most of the gastric surgery is, is on the three different types of obesity. And these are the patients we're hoping to intervene to allow them to either get to uh, overweight status, or at least our goal as a normal weight patient. So the patients who are most likely to benefit from surgery are those who are severely obesity, so a BMI of 40 and above, and those with a BMI of 35 and above with comorbid medical conditions, including diabetes, hypertension, etc. Now there are a couple of different types of gastric surgery that are commonly done in the United States and worldwide. I will not be talking about all of them, because some of these have gone by the wayside and are not currently done as often. But these are the most common types of gastric surgery that are being performed. And we'll talk about these individuals. So the first one is a sleeve gastrectomy. Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well. And make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.